All right, hey guys, welcome to a mystery unboxing. So some of you may know what's in here. This took many weeks to arrive, but this is from Loot Vault. And I made a video on this not too long ago, but basically everything on the site was 50% off and there was also a 50% off coupon for your order total. So I got a lot of stuff for an extremely low cost. I think I paid $25 for everything in this box. So let's go ahead and get to the unboxing. So to start with, I'm sorry for the shaky camera. I don't really have a good way to film this, but opening the top here. And I can already see some shirts. Awesome. So I think it might be best just to, actually let's just dump everything out. Oh no. Oh, that went everywhere. All right, let me sort through this. Okay, so I'm not really sure what to start with. This is an entire loot crate on its own, so I'm gonna get to that a little bit later. Might as well go through everything else first. Here is a stack of shirts. Over here, there is uh, two books. These are the Regrettable Superheroes and Regrettable Supervillains uh, hardcover little graphic books. Um, they're kind of cool because they uh, like showcase some of the villains and superheroes that never really made it sort of the more comedic and comical superheroes that don't really make a whole lot of sense like doll man <laughs> doll man oh and it kind of has a cool like comic book style feel to the uh, paper um, but yeah I'm not going to show too much of this this is just something I ordered because it was cheap it's probably like two or three dollars per um or one of these which is a uh, pretty low cost and I thought it would be a fun little thing to read because I'm a little bit into superheroes and such here is a Futurama model so there's the display outside the box I think it's a pretty cool little model um, it's attached by a magnet which I think is pretty interesting uh, typically figures don't have magnets but it just attaches on at the top and I think this will be a great little like collectible display piece to put on like a bookshelf or something and then over here this is a i think it's a halo 5 themed ammo crate um there's nothing inside it but i might as well open it up okay so like i thought there's nothing inside it's really just for storage purposes i was actually planning on putting some of the halo games inside here uh, as you can see over here, I have just about every Halo game that was ever released. So I was thinking maybe I can just like put them in, um, maybe sideways. <laughs> and yeah, that's actually perfect. Maybe this is what it was intended for because it's almost perfect size. I can put at least five of the games in there. So maybe just Halo 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. And maybe one other like Halo Reach or something. So that's really cool. I think this is an awesome little... A little storage case, so I'm really happy I got this. This was like two bucks. Um, and now to move on to these shirts. Honestly, I don't even know what some of these shirts are even of. I completely forgot what this is. Twin Star Exorcist. I've never watched the anime, but I heard it was coming out in like English dub um, at some point, so I'll probably watch this uh, pretty soon. But I just like the artwork, and I think it looks really cool. I always like uh, just like black and red shirts. Um, pretty cool design, especially for like an anime shirt. Some of these shirts are also like super large. I'm not sure if these fit, but like I said, I only paid like a few dollars for each one of these shirts, so it doesn't really matter. Here is a Mario shirt, the original since 1987, I believe. And it actually has a um, like an official Nintendo seal on the side of it trying to open it with one hand it's not not working out too well but you can see down here um nintendo will it focus seal of quality that's what it says official nintendo seal of quality and uh, if i can get it all the way unfolded you can kind of see that there's like a mario on the front and this is just a cool looking like retro shirt the original mario uh, I kind of like the uh, dirty look to it as well. Um, so that one's cool. Next one is another like anime or like Japanese style shirt. This is just uh, like Ultraman. I think that's what it's called. Like Godzilla versus Ultraman. That one's pretty cool looking. And then the last one, I believe. There is one more shirt, but it's in the loot crate. But this one is from Warcraft. I could be wrong. 
I just thought it was a cool looking design and I'm pretty sure this is the cheapest shirt. It was like two or three dollars. So um, yeah, all these shirts were like two or three dollars. So it's so cheap um, for t-shirts. That's incredible pricing just because uh, like I have trouble finding shirts for like 10 bucks, sometimes even 20. Uh, so now we'll move on to the loot crate and I'm really excited to see what's in here. I've never actually had a loot crate before. So this will be my first ever loot crate unboxing. All right, so on to the loot crate unboxing. There's actually one thing that's super cool that I wanted from this loot crate. So we'll just open this up and see what's inside. Uh, there shouldn't be too much. There is a Assassin's Creed pop figure. This is actually the first ever pop figure that I've ever owned. I'm not a big fan of them. They have giant heads and they are way over manufactured. So they're really not even collectible, at least in my opinion. There are just way too many of them, but it's pretty cool just to have one. Um, the next thing is a shirt. And this is the main reason why I decided to get this loot crate. Um, and it's the shirt of F Society from, um, what's the show called? Mr. Robot, one of my favorite shows like of all time. If you guys haven't seen Mr. Robot, it's about it's about this like young hacker guy and this group who's trying to like take down an evil corporation. It's actually a really cool show, but uh, yeah, it's it's sort of like the Anon Mask from 4chan, um, but pretty awesome. F Society. This is a really cool shirt. I'm really glappy, uh, really happy that I uh, uh, managed to pick this up. Unfortunately, there wasn't any in my size. So I got a super large one, it's a 4XL, but I'll probably use it as like a night shirt or something like that. Um, and the last few things in this box, actually I'm having trouble getting this book out. There we go. A couple more things. So here is the rest. Let me just put those to the side. Here is a figure fantasy Star Wars book. I thought this was pretty cool and I might give this to like my mother as a gift. But just looking through, it's a bunch of like, I don't know how to describe this. It's a bunch of like Star Wars figures in like real life settings. And it just looks really interesting and like entertaining just to go through the pictures. It's basically just a bunch of photographs. There's like a uh, stormtrooper brushing snow off a car. I don't know. A bunch of just interesting like photographs that I think were really well done. And it's just, it's one of those things. Um, you like put it on like a coffee table and then when people are super bored they can just flip through this book and have some fun with it so uh, yeah pretty cool hardcover book there the rest in the crate probably isn't that much there's a, a assassin's creed pen i don't even know what you do with pens so kind of worthless to me and a firefly patch i think that's a tv show right never watched it but kind of an interesting patch i guess you can sew it on to like a jacket and then I guess just more information about what's in the loot crate so that's pretty much everything um yeah I'll just go ahead and end this video here I don't want to drag it on uh too much but in total I got like I don't know like five shirts and maybe maybe one more than that five or six shirts and I got three hardcover books I got a pop figure I got the um halo themed crate which is actually far cooler than I thought it would be <laughs> like I don't know I don't really own a whole lot of uh, Halo merchandise and I'm a huge fan of Halo so really happy to have that to store some games in and some other random stuff so thanks for watching and thanks to Loot Crate and Loot Vault for having a great freaking discount this was amazing all this stuff was just $25 or less so, thanks for watching and have a nice day